Mikey Mark Town! It's a monkey! It's a whale on the bus! It's a whale on the bus! Hi, big boy! I love you, Mark. Uh, what, Mark? I'm going to lie down. You don't feel good? What happened? My stomach doesn't feel good. What you eat? Um, I had pizza. Okay. Well, uh, watch the cat. They don't go there. You gotta watch now. Does. Brennan has his too. Now too. So. Brandon, you gonna plug in yours or what? Now you both have yours. Yeah, yeah. You got two different ones though. That's two different times. Brandon brought his. Tell which one's yours. You see the bag? 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 Baby. I love him. It's baby so. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. I'm so pretty. You baby. You pretty? I love you. Alright. Alright, Indy. Give it to me. You want your blanket? You don't feel good, Mark? Yes, don't lie. Oh my god! Yeah, he took your mel allergy medicine this morning and made you sleepy. Hmm? I'm tired. You got homework? Tug, tug. You got homework? Yeah, because Brandon, you have Cub Scouts tonight, so get all your stuff done, because as soon as I get back from picking up Billy from work, then we're going to go. Okay? Alright, you got Cub Scouts tonight. You're going to wear your new your Cub Scout shirt. That pack meeting. I know your hat is a little bit small, but what you can do you is put... Big? Yeah, big. But what you do is put one of them sock hats on, you know? Yeah, you know what a sock hat is, right? No! There's the ones you always wear outside in the snow. The, the, and then stick out, yeah. And then stick the, yeah, stick the beanie on and then stick your hat over top of that. And it'll fit better. Alright, peace be with us. I may take care of my baby. Alright, Marky Mark. You need some tummy medicine? Uh, uh, more. He's tired, yeah, you're tired. Medicine, which is used to do to my son while he was at school today. Peace, love, and happiness. How was your day at school? I know you're tired, but how'd everything go after mommy went? It was great. Mommy picked, uh, mommy dropped stuff off to you. Mark forgot his Chromebook. I had to get up early, Bar Brandon. I didn't even take a nap. Brandon, Mom, Mom, I didn't have a chance to take a nap. You were my, you, you, um, you got me worked up on brushing my teeth and shoes too much. I know, cause you, you were trying to think, you were thinking so much. Mark, yeah, time. brushing your teeth and shoes. Thing, yeah, he was in his thing. Right. Let's see if I blow the circuit again. I had the microwave going, the stove on, and the coffee machine on, and the thing blew, the whole entire thing. The the circuit blew. Uh, yeah, blew, yeah. That it looks like it's actually going bad. It needs. I think that he's gonna have to replace that whole fuse. So. Uh, fuse come out soon. I don't. I have no idea. All I know is I remember years ago, my mom, I had my mom, the guy across the street from my mom's house. I think that's another reason why they were trying to hurt them. Because they, anytime I, I need them, they would come. So my mom and my dad, the electrician lives across the street from my mom and dad. My, my circuit boards were, were sparking at me. And it was scaring me. So meanwhile, I, so my mom had brought that guy down and he looked at my circuit board. And he says so we just needed a new fuse, so they had to just take it out for the night. So that, and then my husband, I guess, tried to figure out how to just replace it the next day. 
or something or, or that weekend. But let me tell you, the, the whole entire fuse box was sparking. That's my mom. My mom came over at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. Because I was scared to death because it was sparking. I thought my whole house was going to get set on fire. Oh, yeah. uh, this is after I had Marsh come out and tell Marsh. I told Marsh, I said, Marsh, uh, look at all these wires being put in my house. So meanwhile, they're adding extra wires in and my circuit boards were sparking. Now I know why. I had Morris come out in 2007 and I said, look, this is what's going on. They're changing the plumbing here. They're doing something with my plumbing. They're doing something with the wires. I've got pictures of the before and after pictures. Of, and you should see and the wires were running through and then I was getting more wires running through the house. More holes being drilled in my house. I came home with asshole Darlene from Dar's video. Asshole fucking lying fat bitch. You're a lying fat bitch. I came home one day with her when I when I had first had Mark. When Mark was a baby. I said, Darlene, I smell sawdust. As soon as I walked, came up my steps, I smelled sawdust. I take it, Darlene, you, you were paid to take me to the store so they can puck and come in my house and put 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 stuff in my house? Huh? Put cameras in my house just so you can find something wrong with me? When Mark was a baby? You fat fucking bitch. She's the one that bought, you know, that red suit, that red outfit. It's like a, a suit vest, that vest that my kids wore for their school pictures. When they were, she was little, she bought them a bunch of clothes when they were babies. So, well, she bought Mark clothes. She wasn't around much with Brandon. But when Mark was a baby, she was always over here, her and her daughter. That's when she caused me a lot of fucking problems between her, her and when after, especially when Brandon was born. So I don't fucking want to hear it. So you're either going to speak up or I'm going to tell the world about you fucking assholes. I'm done. You're either going to speak up or I'm done. Peace be with us. Truth be told. God bless. Take care and have a great day. Amen. And then they wonder why I'm so damn angry. So, so yeah. So my the whole entire kitchen went out today. So, and I, I guess I messed up the Xbox Live stuff. Their, their connection. So, and, uh, yeah. So, before, before I relapsed, which I shouldn't even been drinking. It's when I did, when I didn't drink that much yet. I was just drinking like a couple beers here and and I was still drinking like wine coolers. I wasn't into heavy alcohol or nothing. But um, I had Marsh come out. And I told Marsh what was going on. I went to the doctors. I said something's wrong. Something's going on. I went to Dr. Hawkins. And I was telling him about what my husband was doing. And I, how I felt something was wrong. I knew so he was poisoning me in 2007. I went to Dr. Alkin and told my doctor. I said my husband is poisoning me. I found the freaking scientific fucking paperwork for it. I found it. Mind you, it's gone now. It's disappeared. Oh, she's delusional. She don't know anything. Here, let me give you money. Forget she said it, right, Marsh? I'm sorry, Marsh. I'm hoping that you your internal affairs and saying, okay, yeah, this is what she said to me back in 2007. But she's been considered crazy. No, bitch, I am not far, I'm far from it. And I, I'm going to prove that when I get in that goddamn courtroom and be able to cross-examine all you fucking lions, liars, and all you doctors who have examined me. And, and one finger on me, anybody who touched me whatsoever, I will freaking not meaning doctors wise. Any doctor who has laid their finger on me or, or, or analyzed me, I'm going to put you all in that stand and I'm going to cross-examine you. Because you know you're lying. You're lying. And everybody's covering for everybody's asses. Just to, Who cares about Nadine and her two kids? Her three kids, right? As long as you make millions. And that Craig Mitnick better not have made one fucking cent off me and my insurance. It's bad enough you made a, a, a bunch of dollars off my daughter's fucking death. Let alone me. Okay? You better not have even sued and trying to say that I'm disabled. So that I can't play sports. 
Peace be with us. Thank you.